You have died of this chair. Now I must tell you about the trip. You should before this child shake event happens. So you already know what we are doing. Get the ox, some clothes, a few bowls, some couple hundred pounds of food, and finally some spare parts. We are heading on your trail! Say goodbye to everything you love. Your bed, not too hard work, the bathroom, and everything else you love about your life. Because we are heading to the trail to Oregon. But make sure to grab some cameras because we will have some like to eat. It took a few minutes of time. You had to make sure to pack early. You had to leave at the precise time to make sure to get Or even lit. I don't know what I'm going to Wow. You need to pack a lot of food, quite a few bullets, some of the finest oxen, and enough clothes. You might want to leave when the grass is green so you have enough food for the oxen. Or you might want to leave when they're snoring the ground so that the grass will definitely be green later. Or you might want to leave when the grass is brown so that the snow will be on the ground so then after the snow the grass will be green. I'd go the first option. I also don't think oxen would even live that long brown grass and then snow. So you start off in this place called Independence which is located in Missouri. If you hear about the green grass great soil in the northwest of where you are now. Your family thinks, oh, that's a great place to go. Let's go there. But they did not know how hard it would be. A whole lot of people died on the Oregon Trail. Will you die or survive? Most people who decided on the treasury remarked that their first landmark was Courthouse Rock, which is in current Nebraska. But who knows when the best rock is only about miles ahead. This was, of course, Oh, Shannon, though, who cares when there's a rock? Where I hear, oh, nothing good. Now, you may be asking, if you're the rock, well, maybe you should be thankful that the greatest rock of man was going to the first rail part of the game. So, after Jimmy Rock, you would go to Fort Laramie, which is a modern day world. I mean, you probably need to buy a few things along the way to stock up. By the time you made it to Independence Rock, you should probably be self celebrating July 4th or be an early celebrator and get there early. But if you got there after July 4th, but you might have some problems along the trail. So when you make it to the South Pass, you must make a decision. If you don't think you had enough supplies to last much longer, then you would then you would probably want to head south to Fort Bridger. But if you stocked up and want to get or get early and get that worm, not become a cannibal, then head straight to Soda Springs. So when you get to Soda Springs, you shall be happy. There's Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, Sprite, Canada Dry, and even Ivy Hebrew Beer. Soda Springs didn't have real soda. Ah, boy! Don't be old wolf! I guess you can enjoy the view, I guess, but not some nice Coca-Cola on a hot midsummer's day. Well, at this point, you should hit the Fort Hall, and soon enough, Fort Boise! So at this point, you will go into a dive fort, and the last member of your party will fall into a sleepy river. Then you will be captured by the mysterious wood elves, and then the guards get drunk, and your sneaky small friend frees everyone. Then you go inside some barrels, and you'll be making your way to Lake Town. That's a part of The Hobbit, and Legolas wasn't even in the hashtag book. I was looking forward to this part of the trail, but now I know it's just a silly story about Bumper. Well, after you get to Fort Boise, you want to head to the Dalles and get this thing over. Or go to Fort Walla Walla to get a few things for the end. I would recommend the Dalles, but if you are in the moment, please need a few things before you head to Oregon. Then do it. But when we get to the Dalles, you will float down the river, which I recommend, even though some of your members might die, or go down the lane to a road. And you should be able to make it to the William F. Valley, and then an epic song plays. In conclusion, did we write the script based on facts, or just on a video game from the 80s? Was it used to, as an excuse to play said 80s video game? You will have to decide. Don't get dysentery. Bye bye. <laughs>